Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rico, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm gonna tell y'all exactly how to become a shoe plug, or in other words, a sneaker reseller. Before we do that though, I wanna please ask that if you like my content, please like, comment, and subscribe. That tells the algorithm that we working hard. That's enough of me talking. Let's get into what y'all came to see. I know you've seen the guys on Instagram, right? They got a boatload of shoes on release morning. And if you anything like me, you probably like, bro, how did you get so many pairs of those, right? And so, and you even probably jumped online and you Googled how to become a Nike distributor and quickly found out you don't meet the requirements at all. Well, we're gonna jump right into how that's possible. It's a lot easier than you would think. How do these exclusive sneaker plugs get so many pairs? And I'm gonna break it down to you. Number one, they try all the methods that are available to you and me, they try them. The difference is, is they get creative and they obsess over the details. So let me explain. They shop at stores that most people don't know exist or don't know are carrying the shoes or the, that release, okay? You can't get multiple pairs in crowded places. The first time I was exposed to this was in 2012, right? The cement fours came out and I knew they would be really hard to get right here in my city. But there's a college town about 45 minutes away a smaller town than my city a Foot Locker had them and allowed up to five pairs per customer so you got to get creative in finding those type of stores finding those ways just call around call see who's within an hour whoever's willing to go the furthest is who's gonna win at this so try to get creative they also enter raffles just like everybody else right just like me and you but they don't just enter under one person be careful not to get banned but there are creative ways to not get banned as well it's simple math the more chances you enter to win the more likely that you're going to get at least one pair try these methods and i guarantee you're going to land some shoes number two the shoes aren't even theirs to begin with that's right now that might be the biggest buzzkill because you know you we see that and we think oh so is it a facade no it's not a facade uh, but i've seen it some of these people who have a trunk full of shoes on release date they just really just flexing them on social media it's, and not all of them are theirs now let me be clear real clear i'm not knocking it one bit number one because they have to post those type of pictures to sell the shoes right number two just because they aren't theirs don't mean they aren't still making money from those pairs, right? What it simply means is this person works for the guy or girl that you and me want to become, right? Which is the sneaker plug. And let me explain. In this game, you really need a team because you could get three pairs by yourself. You, you can do that, but imagine if you and a couple of your friends or people you trust, I should say, your team got three pairs, right? Most likely, the more people on your team, the more raffles you're winning now, right? The more pairs you're winning, the better you're selling, the more you're selling. And once again, this is all assuming that you have the money to start up. If you and your friends have the money to start up, then y'all can sort of go in together. This is another way that sneaker plugs become sneaker plugs. They know or are a store manager somewhere that stocks shoes, okay? Now let me explain. As you and your team start to find more and more stores people don't know about and start to win more and more raffles, right? Then these store managers and distributors, they start to recognize you, right? And naturally, you'll develop a relationship with them. Now, having relationships just like anything else will give you a major, major advantage in this game because You'll certainly be first in line. You'll be up to date on restocks and all sorts of things on the new releases, okay? So when, you, when you're when you plugged in, now you're getting a call first and saying, hey, I'm getting the Fire Red 4s, my favorite, one of my favorite pairs, by the way. I'm getting the Fire Red 4s two weeks early. You want them, I can give you five pair, or I can sell, I can sell you five pair for a retail. Or whatever and so that's how that that's how that usually works although anybody with a storefront can apply to be an official seller of Jordans and Yeezys it's almost impossible for the average business to get approved now the next best thing is is if you're really dedicated 
you go get a job at Foot Locker, okay? And I know it sounds crazy, like, you know, you're not trying to infiltrate them. What you're trying to do is get a job there, not so you can even get the releases, it's so that you can learn the other side of the business and learn how that works and you can learn more about independent suppliers and people like that, which would really benefit you when entering more raffles, getting more, just knowing more places to go get them, you know? Another way that people are, another way that sneaker plugs are actually getting their hands on a bunch of sneakers at once are sneaker bots, okay? Now, what they are basically scripts or software that are designed to buy limited quantity items. So before sneaker bots were called that, they had a different name. It was, it was for things that were coming out online with limited quantity, okay? to sort of ensure that a person would be able to get it before it sold out. So um, they use timers and all kinds of complicated technology, technology to ensure that even if the Yeezys sell out in three minutes, somewhere in there when they sold out, they got you a pair. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes bots don't always work. They don't guarantee a 100% success rate. And honestly, once you see the price tag on some of them, the fact that it doesn't have a 100% success rate will probably be a deal breaker. However, I can say it's worth having. Now, some people debate in 2020 whether sneaker bots are still even functional or worth having. I would say yes, but I know when my wife bought me the Yeezy 500s last year, there was some sort of like virtual waiting room situation going on. And then after that, you get selected to buy and it's all virtual, but I'm not sure I'm sure they have bots complicated enough to do that, but I'm not sure how that would work today. So my vote is still yes. I would still want to have a bot because every place isn't like, every retailer isn't like the Yeezy shop or whatever. The Yeezy's portion of Adidas, I would say. So it's definitely to me worth having it, but I'd like to know what y'all think in the comments. Do y'all, all the people who know about this or, or are already hip to this, what do you think? Do you think having a sneaker bot is worth it today in 2020 or not? So, all right, so honestly, that's all it is. That's all it is. Honestly, those four ways that I told you, you could take those four ways tomorrow and say, I'm gonna be a sneaker plug and I'm gonna do this because it's a lot more simple than it, than it looks, honestly. And it does take some startup cash. It does take a, a couple grand, honestly, to just start off and get you a good, inventory so you know what that's really all man i i just wanted to drop those four things because those four things are things that me and you could do to become a sneaker plug now of course it's going to take the startup cash of course honestly it's going to take a couple thousand but if you have a couple thousand and you're serious about doing this then hey you only honestly only need one thousand you can get in with one thousand start you off with about five pair of shoes or whatever if you're getting them at retail so with these four things you should be able to jump in and become a, a shoe plug if you want so like i said get you a team it's a lot more simple than you think especially once you have a team what it takes is dedication a little luck and consistency but if you want to be a shoe plug once like i said with these four things you can definitely do that so go out there and maximize all the opportunities and all the chances you have to obtain shoes and i promise you with consistency you will start to land them so like always man if you like my content please don't hesitate to like comment and subscribe that would mean the world to me i'm out talk to me in the comments let's get it